Hmm. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case... Someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold a patient down, fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me, and I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just... Idle threats, really. If they come and apologize, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. May the Lord watch over you.
My respect to you. About that Moldavite we discussed? Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is... That sounds... That's the bad news. Merciful. He... Anyway, let... Of course. Excellent. Good luck to you. My respects to you. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba's a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? Well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from him. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it.
I'll pay you well. Farewell. Good day to you. About that talisman of yours. What about it? I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groschen. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. Farewell. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Your turn. <laughs> ah, it's not so bad after all. We'll see. Now you. Use your head, man. You lose everything. Not afraid of anything, eh? This will be the one. with these damn dice. That'll do me.
Well, seems my luck's run out. Damn it. Seeing how I lost. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. My respects to you. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got, lad. The Tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely Maybe isn't holy. It is, but then again, Cucumber, one day, it could be. Come get you them. never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm it's now, don't be sad. One cat paw for luck? Wonderful! How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't! Now the talisman won't bring its owner luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well... Luckily, it's Come a cat's right bar, so it it's has other uses. Your eyes and your stomach. It's hard to a branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. Good and now, to Good the next place. Come have a look. Don't be shy. Mm. Go on, and shake him with anticipation. There's one more thing. Garlic soup it's for rather Onion soup complicated for and... Um, and for what thing? Try them. A shroud. A shroud? Cured and fresh yes. From the woods or A from burial the shroud of Delicious. someone who passed away not too long ago. Make you and your I'm just supposed happy. to take a dead person's clothes. Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is Burgers, waiting for the funeral. Cut you in half, for now, cucumber, he's lying in the small church in Sasa. Come get them. And who was this Lokata? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Vegetables, fresh vegetables. Will you teach me how to pickpocket yep. better? Well, certainly. Lovely? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? What about this? Our That's not enough. Tasty. Good on bread and for fry. Cucumber. Come and get cucumber. Agree. Now, fruit. listen up. Good day to you. What do you need? I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not... The real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Who's the man who died? The one who's lying in the church? Ah, uh, that was old Lokota. He was a respectable fellow. 
And how did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. Was he a local? Oh, no. He came here from Vlashim because of an argument with his brother. We weren't too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from my old butcher, you see. But we soon realized he was a decent man. And we all grew to love him. It's a sad loss. What about his family? His wife, Lucy, passed away a long time ago, poor soul. He was never the same since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind, Peter and Mark. What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward. Mind you, Peter doesn't have any sense of humor that you'd notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Mark's a more open sort and a little superstitious. But don't make fun of him. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Farewell. something the matter. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. Good day to you. What do you need? My condolences. Thank you. I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative. Have you? I've never seen you before. I believe I'm your cousin. Before I left, our family lived in Prague. I knew it! You lying wretch! Don't let me see you here again! Farewell. Ah! Curse it! Who's the man who died? The one who's lying in the church? Oh, that was old Locott. He was a respectable fellow. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Good luck to you. What do you want here? My condolences. Thank you. The Lord be with you. God be with you. Good luck to you. Get the hell out of here. There's nothing here for you. My condolences. Thank you.
I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative. Have you? I've never seen you before. I believe I'm your cousin. Unlike yours, my father never left Vlashim. He must have told you where our family comes from. He never talked about him much. They didn't see eye to eye. Well, you're right. Bad blood. For a long time, I didn't know my father had a brother. So then you know my father also married a woman from Vlashim. Of course. I've heard only good things about Lucy to this day. Good God, it's true. You are my cousin. I certainly am. Then go ahead. Pay your respects to my father. I'm sure he'd be pleased. You're welcome to come to the funeral. And come and see us at home, too. Well, that's very kind, but I'll have to return to Vlashim soon. That's why I came straight here. May the Lord watch over you. I have the... Lord Almighty, be quiet! Not here! You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. Goodbye. Asparagus that'll cut you in half, and cucumbers that'll cure what ails you. Come get them.
You need it. What the fuck? May the Lord watch over you. God! Help! Arrest that thief! I see a thief! Quick! Everyone, come here! Damn it! Alarm! For fuck's sake! Yeah. 